Hello my friends, so I've been asked to play that new Beyonce track, Texas Hold'em. I'm a bit old for that particular one. Now nobody on the internet yet seems to have played it on a guitar, you know the intro, the bit that is the most interesting bit, because it's played on a banjo. So I was challenged to try and make my guitar sound like a banjo, um, which was quite difficult. I tried using one of these, little tiny one, didn't work, and then I decided to try something interesting. I took a roll of toilet tissue, unused, obviously, 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 and I threaded it across some of the strings on the guitar, like so. Can you see what I'm doing here? And <laughs> it sounds not bad. I'm only using this one because it's uh, it, it's Andy the Blue guitar, like amplified a little bit. Any guitar, do just a bit of toilet tissue <laughs> underneath the strings. Now I've only just started learning this, but what I've done, um, I've just scribbled it out for you. So if you want to give it a bash, nobody else is doing this yet. They're doing the other bit where the guitar comes in, but you know the most important part for me is the banjo bit at the beginning and. Um, you know, you might have to raid the toilet top tissue drawer or whatever you put it. But this is what it is. Now, everything's laid out here. Um, I'm going to see if I can play it. I'll do it slowly. And then with a bit of pace, I don't know it yet. I'm having to do slides instead of pull up, um, instead of bends because obviously on a banjo, the strings are dead thin. Um, and it's much more, this piece is, is orientated to playing on a banjo. So, uh, but once you've got the hang of it, it's not too bad. Let's try it again. The same Texas. Okay, so that's it. I thought it sounded pretty cool myself. And um, I mean, the novelty factor of using toilet roll to uh, to get that sound is pretty cool. So, shall we have a look at how to play it, eh? Shall we? Even if it's just for a party piece. All right. My older listeners might not want to do this, but, you know, break out the bog roll, stick it between the strings of your guitar, and play it in front of a few young, of young members of your family, and they'll think you're great. All right. So... Um, as I say, um, this is a one-off. I'm just sticking this in for a bit of a laugh. Okay, but um, let's do it. It's a big record. It's a great song, actually. I'm not going to do the rest of it because everyone else does that. You can pick that up from Marty and these other great, you know, Justin. No, those guys, they're, they're great. But they don't do the beginning. I've checked. I've had a look to see, and they don't do it, you know. So hopefully, I think I'm the first to do it on the, on the internet. If you like what I'm doing, <laughs> please uh, subscribe and uh, do the thumbs up and send this to all the youngsters and, and anyone especially the young ones that play guitar because they'll be fascinated to realize that they can actually get that sound uh, with a bit of paper and uh, with my help of course you know so here we go what you're going to do is this i've broken it down into nice neat little chunks it's already approved click the blue link below right below this video download this okay and we'll go through it all right now i've not bothered putting shape chord, chord names at the top because it's all around the chord D so I just couldn't be bothered doing on every single one so there we are now these two fingers fingers two and three are going to be stuck here all right your fingers one and two are going to look after strings three and two okay it's quite important that you pick this so for those people who've been following me on my Travis picking uh, malarkey then uh, you're going to like this okay um, let's start so we've got four three two two now as with all of my stuff everything i ever tell you get the melody in your head before you start so the first phrase is dum ba da da four four three two two played like this four three two two and then we put our finger on here and we play a five how do we know that because the second diagram shows that finger now on there and the number five as in the fifth string all right all the numbers represent the string numbers for those new to the channel so let's do that again four three two two five and then four three two and then it's got five but it's got hammer on 
okay can you see that that last on the top see here what does that mean well it means what it says you're just going to go and that's it and then followed with a, a three and a two so that first line is four three two two five four three two five oh so i did it again should have been the hammer And then to the far right of that, you'll see times three. It means do that whole, that, those first four shapes, three times in total. Okay, so we've done that top line. The next line, we've got a four, three, two, uh, sorry. Ah, now this is where it goes. Again, phrasing dum, diddle, diddle, digger, da, da, diddle, digger. Bum da ga diddle da ga da 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 ga da ga. So that bit goes four, three, two, and then put this finger on the fourth string, right above the uh, um, your second finger. All the diagrams I'll show you, and then it tells you to pull off, and then four, uh, three, two again. So four, three, two, four with a pull off, three, two. Okay, dum da ga da 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 ga. See the way I'm using the same fingers? Thumb. And then it's telling us to slide from... Um, now, this is where it bends on the banjo. We can't do that. Our strings are too heavy at this point on the fourth string. So we're going to give the same impression by doing a little slide. Using our first finger, and we're going to hit the fourth string twice, sliding from the second fret to the third. Okay. That's all we're going to do. Bam, bam. And then we're going to come back to the next shape and we're going to play. It's going to end up like this again. But what I suggest we do, even though the diagram shows it with all these three fingers on, I suggest you do the pull off first and get this finger out the way and then follow it with the three and two. And you see this diagram here. When you get to there, do your pull off and then put these fingers on. You'll find it easier to play. As I say, we're playing a banjo part on a guitar and it does present a few weird things like that. Okay, so we've got, I'll play that second line again. So. And then the last bit, which is relatively straightforward. Five, three, two, five, three, two. And then a hammer on the five. Does that three times, five, three, two, Hammer two, five, three, two, hammer two, five, three, two, hammer two. And then this E, and then we got, we've got our song there. All right, interesting. This E, and then straight in with the song. Now, This is the key to getting your guitar to sound like a banjo. I picked that song because it was uh, it was my Lynn, but you know my Lynn, my uh, my wife. She said she likes this song and she said, "Can you play it?" I said, "Well, it's on a banjo." She goes, "Well, so what?" That would they were so, so what? I said, "Well, so it's on a banjo. It's a different instrument. It's got five strings." And she turned around and said, "Well, you're supposed to be good, aren't you?" So I thought, right, so I, I, I took it as a personal, you know, challenge to play. So uh, there we are. Make sure you download this stuff. Share it to whoever you like. All, your, all the youngsters will love this. So try and learn it if you can. Or better still, send it to those youngsters who are playing guitar. Because they will love this one. I'm trying to mix it up a bit in the last couple of days. I don't know if they have noticed. But I don't want to just keep doing easy, easy, easy stuff. And same old, same old, same old. We don't want to be a one-trick pony. All right, do we? No. So... Here we are. You can see at the top, there's the track. It's uh, it's banjo intro, arranged for guitar by me. All right, but it's by me, but you're free. I'm not the mic. You're free to share it with whoever you like. I don't care. All right, all I care about is that you subscribe to the channel. Do the like button if you've liked this bit of fun video, which I have. Um, and we can, you know, do something next next um maybe something on the banjo again maybe something similar uh what should we what are we going to play next i don't know 
I'm thinking about doing um, I'm Not In Love 10cc. Now I did a, a demo for that some time ago um, and quite a few people have now looked at it and have contacted me to say can we do that one. So that is a, a distinct possibility. All right. Uh, Wednesday we'll be doing our masterclass as, as always. So uh, this video as I said is just I've just chucked this one in because um, I wanted to teach you how to play guitar with the use of toilet paper. All right. I just thought it would be novel. I thought it would amuse you. And there we are. All right. So on that note, I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye bye.